All right, so let's get a little Tigers, and then we're going to get to uh, stump the stoning a little bit. I've put something together oh boy. for you, brother. No, 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 no. <laughs> no it's, okay. it's a sunny Friday. Yes. None of our local teams are in. And I said, all right, look, we're, we've got the Godfather here brought to you by Speaker City. And it was this <laughs> idea of nobody knows more useless nonsense about useless nonsense. That's true. You. So I put a sweet 16, stump the stoning together. We're going to oh, do it later. boy. But well, you opened up with the Tigers. And yeah. I want to run something by you. Mm-hmm. Okay. A, the best part of opening day was Jason Benetti. Followed was, by Tarek Skubal. Yes. Followed by a distant uh, third, to which is my issue. By the way. That felt like last year. It, sh- it shows you how good Jason Benetti is when they did like a little video of him in Chicago where he used to work. Yeah. People love the guy. Yeah. Lo, well, listen. Instead of wanting to hurl things at my television, I actually enjoy just listening. Mm-hmm. My point is... That felt like last year. Yeah. The 28th ranked offense in the league, and it's one game. I understand it. It's early April. But when Kenny and I talked earlier, I couldn't argue what Kenny was saying. Think about it. A one nothing baseball game, the way Scooble pitched, you're playing a, a garbage White Sox team. Like, that does give – like, I need a good month of offense to feel like we have any any real shot at doing this? I, I I agree with you, and you know, conversely, Cleveland, who also has a crap offense, Correct. they did the same thing. Only they scored eight runs against a crappy team, and Bieber looked sick last night. Not, yeah, his velocity was still sitting at ninety two, ninety three. Beats the like the right. Frank Tanana yes. eighty seven or eighty eight right. from last year. But yeah. no, I I would like to know from you or Tiger fans. I mean. Isn't there a burden of proof on this team that it's not good enough to just, hey, we're going to compete, we're going to pitch? The offense is what's either going to help this team get where they got to go or limit them. We know the pitching's good. Yeah. I, I, I asked, I had a question yesterday for the boys and just this idea of will Scoobal be top three AL Cy Young? He's got a real good chance. He does. And yes. he's got a chance to strike out 225 batters in about mm-hmm. 160 innings. Yeah. It's the offense. The I is, can't watch that. It's it's very questionable. Now, you know, Torkelson two hits, great. They went. They weren't exactly you know bombs or anything like that. Things are gonna they'll get better than they were yesterday. But you know what I don't like, Mike? I should never have to look at Matt Veerling with the bases loaded in the big spot. I know that was tough. I I like him a lot as a player, but not maybe if as he was my fourth outfielder. Sure. Yeah, and you know he can play third. He can do. He he is a baseball player. Every good team needs a guy like him on their team. The problem is the Tigers have too many Matt Veerlings. That, okay, that's the key. Yes. But look, they have 10 more games now in a row. This is this is the, the April. They have to be above 500. No doubt. They haven't been above 500 after April since 2016. Was that the Zubaz pants year? Might be. <laughs> Might be. I get the bits confused yeah. when you've been no good. <laughs> right, it's very hard to separate yes, all of them. Yeah. But I, I, I want to know from people kind of your your takeaway from opening day. Look, clearly, um, it's one game. Maybe they go and rifle these teams, and the offense looks great. But yesterday, yeah, I had PTSD with it. I can't. Look, I, I understand it. I mean, when you see, I mean, what the, the guys that people want. Well, J.D. Martinez, they, they didn't play. But no. Chapman was one for four with a strikeout. Wyatt Langford, one for three, walking an RBI and, and a strikeout. And your your boy Mike Marcana was zero for three and a walk with two strikeouts. So yeah, my boy. I know. Don't I'm you put fac- that evil on me? I don't know. I'm being facetious, as you know. You know, but Riley Green didn't do much. Torquey did have two hits. I mean, look when the, the one run of the game is manufactured by right. Harvey. I mean, as you call him, where's Harvey? Yes, I don't know if you saw. I tweeted out. I, I go to my refrigerator yesterday, and there's my daughter has this some sort of like coffee drink. It's Harvey. No. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll show you that. He I mean, owns I, a coffee company? No, it's not him. Oh, it's, just, it's, it's called, unaffiliated. It's called, it's called J-A-V-Y. Okay. And somebody on Twitter pointed out that it's the, the, the content or something is better than his, his OBP or something like that. It's Easily. Funny. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Uh, but no, we, we can knock down a couple of calls, and I want to get some ticket text on it. And then we'll – I have a question for you because, I mean, this is my 20th year in town. You've got third. What what year did you get here? I got here in 86. Okay. So you're approaching 40 years in town. Mm -hmm. I have a question that only the godfather of radio can answer. Mm -hmm. We're going to get to that too. Let me go to Eddie to lead things off on a Friday. Edward, what's going on, buddy? 
Yeah. Hey, that was a great Tiger game. I enjoyed it. It moved fast and um, good defense, good pitching. That's what gets us into October, right? Yeah, but you have to <laughs> at least score more than one <laughs> run, right? Uh, the deflator here. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Okay. Well, what, what are you what are you purchasing? What are we Ed? doing here? <laughs> I'm looking at tires. Oh, <laughs> tires. Okay. <laughs> Was, was yours as flat as the Tigers' offense? Let me think. Oh, I enjoyed the game. I enjoyed it. All I- right, you already said that. I'm done. <laughs> Not in the mood for it today. <laughs> Not in the mood for it, Ed. Go get your tires filled. <laughs> Kenny, ticket text. Today's not the day. That's all I'm telling you. Go ahead, Kenny. Benetti was fantastic. Absolutely a breath of fresh air. Yes. No bats, no chance to win the division, even if it's a bad division. See, that's okay. Is it wrong for, for – in this town, it feels like it's wrong if you put the burden of proof on the team. People get very upset. I know. This has turned in benefit the benefit of the doubt bistro. I, I'm with Kenny in this regard. Until or unless I am able to sit down and watch Tiger baseball and feel like I have a real lineup, I don't view any of it as real. I get that. But let me ask you, as, as a fan, okay, because we've had teams since I've been here – the Rob Deere teams would score like crazy amounts of runs and they couldn't get anybody out. What do you prefer? Offense. Okay. But what what wins? In the playoffs? Pitching. Uh, right. Or even to get to the playoffs. And offense so. can carry you in the regular season. The way it's mix and match and the okay. way that you're not having, you know, like it used to be you needed a legitimate rotation. Right. A couple of guys would go real deep in games. Now, no. it's pretty accepted that it's going to be five and fly or six. Right. And you need that bullpen like they did yesterday. Right. Was pretty sick. And again, I trust their pitching. I trust Scott Harris's ability to cobble a pen together. Mike, offensively speaking, like whatever. I know. I, I got to see it. Because realistically, what did we complain about? All, well, what did I? I'm not putting this on you. My issue was, all right, all this money's coming off the books, and we got good young talent coming up. Let's support those guys. Let's bring in a couple veteran bats. We had people lining the phone lines to tell me why they weren't excited about the Tigers yesterday. And Mm -hmm. to a man, hated their offseason, wasn't excited about it, didn't pick up any bats, boring to watch. I I get it. That's the customer base. Right. I know. And that's what you saw yesterday. Look, you no look, let's uh, kid ourselves. The most important thing is winning games. They won a game, but it was, you know, if I was working in the morning, it might have been a tough time for me not to take my nap during that game. Yeah. And and, and again, you'll take an ugly win over a pretty loss, and I just want them to stack wins. But eventually, this is the this is where we arrive at. You guys, no matter what sport you love in this town, you remember when it wasn't just who you played, it's how you played. Right. If if we have designs on more in this town, the how you play matters. So it's going to be something I want to see that as April moves on, as the weather warms up, I got to see this offense help. Well, it's funny because you, you mentioned like down the road, you know, want to see everything develop. I get to the, I have this feeling that both the Tigers and the, Red Wings, owned by the same company, so to speak, they should change the name of the team from the Red Wings and the Tigers. Just call them the Detroit Future, because they're both just sitting there building for what what we hope is going to happen in two years. And in two years, players some, sometimes get older, and you find that you're not going to be as good as you thought you were two years. So you, you when the you know when you want to strike, you got to strike. And look, no, the Tigers, even if they would have added. Chapman or JD, they're not going to win the World Series, but you have your chance to. Could like, you make the playoffs? Yes, and that's that's where it starts, right? The Wings are. Listen, I. You really want to go there to start the show? We can. That's. I'm that, happy to. They are what I pretty much thought they were. This the way it's happened. No, 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 no. Yeah, uh, it's weird. You know what? I gotta it, hit. I gotta. Hit, I gotta no, hit you with but it. But it's unacceptable. I, Stoney, I gotta do it. Okay. February 28th was a feel-good Friday. Yeah. Kenny had a fifth car flag, and I can't tell you what poll it was on. Mm -hmm. This team was nine points up on Tampa. Oh, I know. In a month. They have careened off a cliff. Tampa's got like a seven-point lead. Now the Caps have a game in hand, and you're looking up at them. 
You're staring Florida down the barrel of a gun. Last night was a total embarrassment. Lalone is throwing people under the bus every night. How's this guy have a job? I mean, you, you can preach patience all you want, but Kenny told me this is a valid opinion two weeks ago where I said, wait a minute, six playoff teams have fired their coach oh, this know. year. I know. How is Derek Lalone? The team has openly quit on him. How, how are we here? Because of what I said. They just want to develop. That's what they want. They want to develop but their Mike, young players. Mike, they can do whatever they want to do. We as, whether you're a paying customer, right. an observer, you're just a fan. I know. I, you I don't, don't have to accept that. Look, if they go, well, they have nine games left, if they go two and seven down the stretch, I would have no problem if he doesn't come back. As I mean, coach. they're, they're plus but 200 I, to make the playoffs. Do well, you realize that? Yeah, but I, I, I look at the way Iserman works and the way this organization works. I see them bringing him back for year three, and if it gets off to a bad start, then they'll do the hockey firing then. That's what I think is going Kenny's to happen. Kenny's shaking his head in disgust. I, think, I don't I, think I it's think at that's me. that's what's going to happen. I want you to direct your anger towards the Mr. Michael Stone. Well, I'm not saying what I want to happen. I think that's what's going to happen. I think what should have happened is he should have been fired already amidst that losing streak. Exactly. That team was not trying. And they were in a playoff chase. They're still in a playoff chase. By the grace of God, I don't know how that's even possible. They're still in this thing. The fact that they were openly not trying game after game after game in a playoff chase where you had, you know, games in hand, you had the division, you had actual things to play for. Well, if if look, in investigation by the front office and they know a lot of stuff that we don't know, if they believe that what you believe and a lot of us believe that they basically mailed it in, they're done, then he should be fired. But if they don't believe that, then he's going to come back. You don't have to be a hockey fan to know what you see on the ice during that stretch. I know. Was not trot was openly not trying. Look, it's some I want to get into at three o'clock. It it is really a reset of a very famous phrase in this town. But like, what does a guy gotta do to get fired? Like, what is it in this town? We're one of the great sports towns in America. In my mind, it's always been New York, Chicago, Boston, Philly, Detroit. The five great sports towns in this country. And I swear to God, I, we you know we made a song as a joke, Stony Limp Bleep City. D -d -d you do. You, this town needs some of Lamar Odom's boner pills. <laughs> what, have we, in your forty years, has this town ever been softer? What do you got to do to get fired around here? Well, it's not. I I think the fans are definitely less soft than they've ever been, which is a good thing. The ownership, a different story, and how much the fans have anything to do with that is I don't think they give a rat's ass. The owners? No, they don't care. No, I agree with that. But my point is, fans, I think you can voice your displeasure in a myriad of ways in 2024. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I said this earlier, the Pistons are one of the most underreported stories in sports. They are the process sixers, except they're actually trying. And they have the highest paid coach in basketball. The, the Pistons are a national embarrassment. They're awful. Locally, <laughs> they go unscathed largely. The well, Red Wings are, are in a full collapse, and the Tigers had one of the most uninspiring, cheap off-seasons you can have. Like, it's amazing. Because I feel like, forget the Pistons. If you look at the Wings and Tigers, these are teams that you had a power stat with the Wings that I don't want to take from you, but I think people are going to be shocked when they hear it. Yeah. You have to be expecting more. They have to make the playoffs. And, and for the Tigers, this division's wide open. I know. What owner wouldn't want to spend a little to make a lot? We used to push 2 million people through the gates. If you win, this town will support right. this baseball that's, team. That's what I don't understand. That's why, to me, the J.D. Martinez. Now, you know, he said, what, well, he's addicted to the playoffs, but he was still going to get in the playoffs. Maybe there's something he didn't want here. Or if the Tigers didn't even make a all, call. All you need I, to do I, is show no me idea. the report. I if no, you I, show me the report, right. I tip my cap and I go, right. we tried. Same they thing with Sneed. Try. Sneed, they tried, it appears. The Lions, at least, you know, I because we saw the report. Uh, to me, that's what this team needs. And you don't need a four-year deal. Get J.D. Martinez. You could have got him for a one-year deal. 248-539-9797. There's